Hi there! Let's see how we can create some quick cliff like surface in Maya using Bifrost. So this is the graph with a few nodes, but it's actually pretty simple. Most of it are just duplicate setups to layer up the surface. We start with a plane to scatter some points on it. Then there's the cylinder with just a few divisions that we'll be using to scatter around. We use a scatter node to distribute the cylinders. And this is the result of this part of the graph. There are just a few nodes in between to randomize the scale. One for the Y axis to make the cylinders longer and one uniform to control the overall size. Also, there's a fractal to displace a bit the cylinders. At the end, we create the instances and bake the resulting geo. For the second layer, I use the same approach, just changing the scale so it creates some extra silhouette around the shape. The only difference here is that I am using a disk to scatter the points, instead of the plane. And again, you can play with the noise, seed and scale attributes. This is the third layer, a bit more random, same setup. The fourth layer, just a bit more squashed shapes, manipulating the scale in the y-axis. And finally the last layer, where instead of cylinders, I am using a cube to get some extra shaping on the final result. Then I am converting the mesh to a volume. You can play with the detail size to get more or less resolution. And converting all the other shapes too. Next, we are merging the volumes, this will give us an idea of the final result. Converting it to a mesh. Again, you can play with the details to get a faster result, although this setup is not too heavy. Here I am using a displace points with a fractal to get some noise on the surface. And with a new fractal, with a multiply node, I am scaling the noise in the y-axis to get that typical layering effect on the cliffs. You can play with the value if you need more or less layering. At the end of the graph, you need to connect the result to an output node, so you can convert the Bifrost shape to a Maya mesh. So now we open the node editor to connect the Bifrost graph shape out points to a Bifrost GeoMaya node and finally connect it to a mesh node. Let's go through the render setup now. For the lighting I am using a dome light. This is the output mesh from the node editor which is a bit too heavy. Right here I have a reduced version that will be the one we're going to use. For that, just select the original mesh and remesh, playing with the edge lengths to adjust the amount of polygons. So, the shading of the cliff consists of two different materials in a mixed shader. The first one being this cliff mega scans material, maybe with a color correction of the base color. Then I have this grass shader that will be mixed with the cliff material. And right here there's the mix using a sampler info and a range nodes. So I want to create a snow-like effect, for that I am connecting the normal camera to the range output. The value we're interested is the normal camera Y, so we connect the second value of the out color, the green channel, to the mix attribute. And this is the result we get. I am also mixing two displacement maps to get more detail on the final render. Now I'm going to scatter some plants on the flat surfaces of the cliff. Going to start by duplicating and reducing the polygon amount, so it's a bit faster with the script I'm going to use. Here are the plants to be scattered. And I am using Envit, by the way, which is very easy and powerful at the same time. It uses Bifrost in the background to scatter the objects. 
adding the plants to the assets palette and the effect we need to enable is the mask by snow you can play with the value to grow or shrink the effect then just add some random scale and rotation to it Finally, just hide the reduced version of the cliff and unhide the final mesh along with the plants for the final render. And this is it, so hopefully you picked up some tips and I am sure you can come up with a better cliff shape than mine. I just want to thank uh, Seppo for helping me out with this graph and helping me with Bifrost overall. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. See you!